Back now, the digital world is expanding quite rapidly and lockdown has seen more and more people working from home. But a new survey has revealed that globally 60% of workers are quite worried that technology will put their jobs at risk. I'm now joined by PwC's HR technology and culture leader, Barry Foster, to elaborate more on this research. Barry, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us right here on the SA Morning. I mean, it seems, according to your, your survey here, digital skills improvement do not necessarily match, uh, you know, equal access to career careers according to your respondents what did you find I think what we found is that people are now deeply aware of the fact that their lives and especially their their work will be influenced by technology I think what what's come to the fore is, is that COVID has has truly put a spotlight on what what, what a technology infused future would look like and people are now aware so having spoken to 32,000 people we, we clearly found that they are concerned on the one hand, so a large percentage of them are concerned, um, but they are also very open to and almost enthusiastic in joining um, the, the learning opportunities that are out there. What is clear though is that they are not receiving or being offered or that those opportunities aren't, aren't, aren't open to them. Mm. There's an interesting one though for South Africa, is, is that South Africans feel, and they are right at the top, it's not often that we're right at the top, yeah. that they have received um, learning opportunities, or let me say training in this case, through COVID more so than their counterparts in the rest of the world. That's quite interesting because it seems uh, as well when we focus on uh, South Africa's barrier, if I could just jump in there, a further 73% saying that they still want government to do something about this. It seems they want a government intervention in this issue. I, I think you're absolutely right. And the, 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 the sad part of it is, and if you look at all the countries that were surveyed, there's 19 of them, um, I do think we fall behind when it comes to, and when we say government intervention, is just enabling, providing opportunity for people right from the ages of 16 to the ages of 60 to gain these skills. So what are we doing, for instance, in the agricultural sector mm. to make sure that we have more young drone operators? Right. Uh, because we need them. Um, I think if you drive um, to Senves in Clarksdorp, They'll tell you that the, the farmers would love to have those skills uh, closer to them and for the, the, the people working in that area to, uh, to be offered some opportunity for the skills. What I think is happening, though, is, is that private, uh, private companies um, and, and, and are providing, business is providing some of this learning, but I would say that it is an imperative now for government if we want to be um, not, not only globally competitive, just to be a player yeah. in, in the global economy, we'll, we'll, the government will have to, to I, I would say, in a revolutionary fashion, provide more learning opportunities. And this is, this is not only the kind of academic learning that we used to, it's a, it's a kind of combination, I would think. It's a combination of not necessarily being a coder or uh, somebody who develops a, a new computer program, but people who operate and can interact with technology. Mm. I, I use the, the, the drone example, I think it's a good one, um, in the sense is how will young humans, young people, right. interact and work with drones or with robots in agriculture uh, or with robots in, a bank, in the banking environment where we have... Um, a, an increasing level of robotic automation. And I think in, in, in that, um, there needs to be a sea change um, from government, which we've sadly not seen. Yeah, and, and that needs to change, but it's something to consider, at least as far as this uh, survey is concerned. Thank you so much, of course, for joining us. That was PwC's HR Technology and Culture Leader, Barry Foster.